economically we may not be aligned, but we're still connected. And, and how do we still get them to see that? Or is it is it a different reality now? So that's my question. I, I think you know you have to recognize uh, who you're uh, who you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a slave versus owner. Yes. You know, and first of all, whoever you're talking to, I'm not talking about your sister, are you talking to a slave? Right. Mm. Or are you talking to an owner? Mm. Wow. And you can but slave and you, know, you can take slave and owner, or are you talking to somebody that the, where the foundation of your existence is negative mm. or whether it's positive. Mm -hmm. So who are you talking to? Because that's going to determine whether or not you can predict the outcome of that conversation based on who you're talking to. So um, if you're talking to us as a culture, you know, we've had a lot of negative, negative experiences. The foundation of our existence is negative for the most part, and it continues to be that way because there's an oppressive system set up and designed a lot of times to destroy your belief system about yourself. Mm -hmm. And that comes in all different forms. So how do you now navigate through that? You know? And one very important scripture is God is love. You know, I think that's John 12 or 13. And so you're, the transformation is always love. And the question is how do you get there? And, and for you, you're only responsible for your own feelings. You shouldn't have to diminish your own value regardless yes. of who, who you're right. dealing with. That's right. <laughs> but you have to still know who you're dealing with yeah. and provide the humility mm -hmm. to be able to deal with any situation that comes up. So this the humility that's going to save you is not them, mm -hmm. not family. It's always you. Mm -hmm. So how do you begin to organize your life in such a way that you can provide the love that's necessary to deal with that. And regardless of what other people are doing and what they say, you know that love conquers all, because it's only two emotions, there's love and there's hate. And there's negative and there's positive, that's all you have. So your success is always going to be based on how much you love yourself and how much you care about yourself. Always. Because the law of attraction says whatever you put out, yes. you get back. Yeah. Exactly. So if you don't, if you have a negative reaction to that, that that's your personal uh, consequence. Mm -hmm. What's going to come back to you to you that's going to affect your life because of your attitude and because of the way you feel about that situation.